Hi, I'm Coach Miyazaki from Nagoya University. Thank you for watching this video. Now I'd like to start my presentation. The title is Conformal Based Sounding in Detection with Simpson Supervised Learning and Data Argumentation. Okay, let's start. This is background of our research. Sound event detection, SED for short, is an important technique for understanding environmental sound, and that goal is identifying with timestamps. One of the problems of SED, collecting untreated dataset, due to its labeling cost. Label type is divided into two types, strong label and weak label. Strong label is including timestamps, so easy to handle, but annotation cost is expensive. On the other hand, weak label is not including timestamps. In other words, only tag information is available. To tackle this problem, in our previous work, we proposed weekly supervised training scheme utilizing weekly labeled training data for SED. First, we introduced transformer encoder as self-attention for sequence modeling. In addition, we introduced a tagging token dedicated to weak label estimation. And this is an overview of our previous work. Input feature sequence into start transformer encoder. At the time, append tagging token at first frame. Then tagging token is used to classify predict weak label. And the other frame are uh, used to predict strong label. Let's move on to consider to achieve further improvement. We introduced three kinds of technique for performance improvement. Firstly, utilizing unlabeled data. Unlabeled data is easy to correct because no need to annotation cost. But it needs additional technique such as semi-supervised learning. Next, we introduce data augmentation. Data augmentation enables us into storing data without correcting new data. Also, includes the diversity of training data. Then we rethink model architecture for more efficient modeling network. Now let's look at self-attention. So attention mechanism can be formulated as follows. Self attention is a special case of attention mechanism, such that uh, query, key, and value are the same values. The compute the attention score from the query and key matched by the matched by it by the value. It is illustrated as follows. Let's look at the advantage and disadvantage of self attention. Zero attention is characterized by good at sequence modeling and good at capture global context information. Thanks to this feature, it has been successful in various fields such as natural language processing and acoustic signal processing. On the other hand, there are some disadvantages such as bad at extract local feature extraction and increase model parameters. To deal with this advantage, recently, Conformer has been proposed. Conformer is a combined model, self-attention and convolution. Self-attention is good at capturing global context information and CNN it's good to extract local features. Conformer have also succeeded in reducing the parameters by point and depth wise convolution. Conformer have 
achieved state of the art performance in automatic speech recognition. The model architecture is shown in the right hand side. The main difference from the transformer is a convolutional module is added after the multi head self attention module. And it is sandwiched by two feed forward modules. Here, I will explain our proposed method in this study. We summarize the differences from the combo conventional method, specifically, we change the structure of the model of to a deeper CNN and introduce conformer blocks. We introduce data augmentation and semi supervised learning to further performance improvement. We adapted the mean teacher model for semi supervised learning. Mean teacher is a widely used semi supervised learning, and this idea is so simple, but the effect is powerful. During the training, minimizing the consistency cost between the outputs of student model and the teacher model. And the parameters of the teacher model are updated by exponential moving average of the student model. And here is a uh, data documentation used in this study. We employed four types of data documentation. Gaussian noise, time shifting, frequency masking, and mix up. Each behavior is shown in the figure. We conducted the experimental evaluation and there's a DKS2020 challenge task for setting to verify the effectiveness of the proposed method. This task is sound event detection in domestic environments and there are 10 sound event classes. The performance is evaluated by event-based macro F1 score and PSDS. The baseline models are CRMM and the mean teacher for semi supervised learning. And here is uh, details of provided data set. I will explain the evaluation measure. Event based metric is uh, indicators of whether onset or offset are included in the detection. And that has tolerated a little bit of error in onset to offset. Segment based metrics is indicators of whether detection is possible with the uh, unit segment. However, sometimes event based metrics reports bad performance, also, segment based metric reports good performance. For example, like this case. In this situation, the top figure is a grand tree travel and the bottom line is a prediction. To address this phenomenon, the polyphonic sound event detection score, a PSDS for short, has been proposed, which is a robust framework for evaluating the performance of acoustic event detection. It doesn't depend on post-processing like event-based metric, so PSDS enables us for reasonable discussions. Okay, then let's look at the experimental results. This is the results of each event classes. The blue bar is the baseline and the yellow bar is a result of conformer based model of the proposed method. In comparison, 
the results for the conventional transformer based model are shown as red bars. The results confirm the effectiveness of our, our proposed method in many classes. The average performance improvement is 6.9 percent percentage point. This is a result of adding the data augmentation. Although no statistically significant difference was observed with a single data augmentation, we confirmed that the use of a combination of data augmentation techniques can improve performance. In our experiments, the best performance is achieved by using time shifting and mix up. We also tried the model ensemble to improve performance. The model configuration, configuration is as follows. Transformer fusion model is ensemble of the top seven models of transformer based model. Conformer fusion model is ensemble of the top eight model of conformer based model. Here is the, uh, here, the model differ in terms of hyperparameters during training. Also, you may find it strange that the number of models is different, but this is only because of the time limitation of the challenge. As a result, the conformer-based models has the best performance, achieving a 50.6% event-based nuclear fan score and the uh, PSTS score of 0.7 for validation set. In addition, we also achieved 55.8% and 0.747 in the public validation set. And uh, this is a uh, example of visualization of attention weights. The top row shows the attention weights of conformer-based model and the bottom row shows transformer-based model. From the visualization result, we observed conformer-based model appear in vertical and diagonal patterns. On the other hand, transformer-based model appear only vertical patterns this result implies conformer-based model capture local information more efficiently. Finally, I will show the decay steady train challenge task for results. Our submission system achieved first place among 21 teams, 14.6 percentage point higher than baseline and 3.3 percentage point higher than second place team submissions. To summarize my presentation, we proposed conformer-based SED model that employs semi-supervised learning and data augmentation. And the ensemble model achieved 50.6% of event-based microwave score. For future work, we are planning to investigate behavior of self-attention and investigate integrate source separation technique to improve performance using class-wise motor ensemble and publish experiment code as open source. Thank you for your interest and attention. If anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to open up the discussion.